Don't forget to subscribe for regular video updates. Harry's True Intentions Exposed in Shocking Interview Have you ever wondered who was the driving force behind the decision-making in the Sussex couple? Was it Meghan, who wielded her iron will over the kind-hearted and naive Prince Harry, or was it the cunning Harry who had long plotted revenge against his family and needed someone like Meghan to execute his plans? Analyzing a six-year-old interview of Prince Harry, the son has come to the conclusion that he had made up his mind to leave the royal firm long before meeting his current wife. He spoke openly about it, expressing his reluctance to leave due to his love for his grandmother, the Queen. I spent many years kicking my heels and didn't want to grow up. I felt like I wanted to leave, but decided to stay and carve out a role for myself, says the Duke of Sussex, as conveyed by royal expert Angela Levin. It was Meghan's strong character and ambition, coupled with her stories of being undervalued and her ability to live life to the fullest, that ultimately pushed Harry to take that leap. It was only in Los Angeles that Harry could truly feel free from constraints and shoulder his responsibilities. Here, I can ride a bike with Archie peacefully. I never had the chance to do that before, added the Duke of Sussex. In other words, was there something preventing him from riding a bike with his son in Windsor Castle? Perhaps it was a lack of time, always busy with royal duties, as he himself stated. But in Los Angeles, everything changed, and life became much better. Prince Harry became a true hero. He didn't run away. He left to break the vicious cycle. Prince Philip and the Queen had raised his father the same way his father raised him, without riding bicycles. To ensure his children wouldn't repeat his fate, he moved to America and could now freely ride bikes with both of them. In America, he realized that he often felt angry and, upon Meghan Markle's advice, started seeing a therapist. He was angry at feeling like an animal in a zoo, fulfilling his royal duties all these years. It wasn't always the royal family's fault that he behaved like an animal. For instance, in his memoir, he writes about getting high after his first date with Meghan. After the date, he met a friend to discuss the night's events, and tequila arrived. Meghan just showed up, on her own accord. And it wasn't Harry's fault, he was sitting and watching the movie Inception. He felt frozen and wrote, good weed, dude. His phone rang, and he panicked. It was a call from Megan, and he answered. He told her how much he liked her freckles, and she said they would be airbrushed out in every photo. Another instance of Harry behaving like an animal in a zoo occurred before his first date with Megan. He pissed himself, which he openly and vividly describes in his memoir. William was plotting deviously. He wanted to shave Harry at his bachelor party because he was furious that Harry was allowed to keep his beard before the wedding while he wasn't. Harry discovered that William had planned his revenge. Harry intended to blow off steam at his pre-wedding bachelor party but had to refrain from getting too drunk as he needed to keep a watchful eye on his older brother. We have compiled all these facts into one article to give you a glimpse into the magnitude of these personalities. As a poet once said, some people are as deep as the ocean, while others are mere puddles. It's unfortunate when a puddle believes itself to be an ocean. What do you think about the dynamics between Meghan and Harry? Who do you believe had more influence in their decisions? Share your opinions in the comments section and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more thought-provoking discussions.